how to upgrade Windows Server 2003 DC to Server 2008 DC. The updation of Windows Server 2003 Domain Controller to a Windows Server 2008 Domain Controller is a very simple process. First we have to run the add prep utility for doing the forest preparation and then the domain preparation and after that we can start the installation from a Windows Server 2008 DVD after logging on to the Windows Server 2003 operating system. There are some things that we have to be sure of before starting the installation. The 2003 domain must be in the native mode. The domains have two types of modes called native mode and mixed mode. You have to make sure that the domain that you are going to upgrade is in the native mode. And Windows Server 2003 Service Pack 2 must be installed. And you have to start the installation after loading onto the 2003 OS from the 2008 DVD. That means you do not have to boot from that DVD from the operating system DVD. You have to log on normally to your 2003 machine and start the installation from the DVD itself. So we will now go on to a Windows Server 2003 domain controller and we will upgrade it to a Windows Server 2008 DC. I am now logged on to a Windows Server 2003 DC and we are going to upgrade this DC to a Windows Server 2008. The first step that is needed for this upgradation is uh, to prepare our Active Directory domain. So first I have to also check whether I have the uh, Service Pack 2 installed. So I have the Microsoft Windows Server 2003 Enterprise Edition with Service Pack 2. So it will be only possible to upgrade my operating system to the same version of operating system. So I can upgrade this machine to a Microsoft Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Edition. So I have the CD with me. I have put the CD into the CD drive. But before starting the installation, I have to uh, do the preparation of my Active Directory for this upgradation. So before that, we can just try installing starting the installation from the CD I click on install now I will not install the latest update I will uncheck the automatic activation and click on next I click on do you want to enter the proc key now I will click on no I will select the enterprise edition click on next accept the license agreement click on next and here you can see that my upgradation option is grayed out I won't be able to upgrade from here and the reason is shown below active directory in this domain controller does not contain windows server 2008 ad prep forest prep updates so I have to do that forest preparation before going to the installation so I will cancel this installation and I will open up a command prompt I will go to the add prep and I will just drag and drop this add prep utility to my command prompt have to give a space slash forest prep I'll hit enter and a confirmation will ask you whether we want to prepare the active directory I will type in C and hit enter to continue and the active directory preparation has started and this will take a couple of minutes I will be back after this completes so the AD prep has completed successfully and let's close out of this command prompt and try the installation once again. Now we have uh, another error message saying that there is no domain prep in our um, Windows Server 2003. So we have to do that also. 
we'll do the same steps once again we'll go to the command prompt we'll open up the cd go to sources add prepped and we'll drag and drop this add prep.exe to the command prompt add prep space forward slash domain prep it says that add, add prep detected that the domain is not in native mode add prep has stopped without making changes configure the domain to run in the native mode and rerun the domain prep so we have to go to our Active Directory users in computers and set this up. Right click on the domain and click on raise domain function level and we have to go set it to the Windows Server 2003 and click on raise. I'll click on OK and we also have to raise the forest functional level for that I will go to the active directory domains and trust I'll right click on the root folder and click on raise func f forest function level and I will erase it to Windows Server 2003 click on OK and we will do the domain prep once again now the domain prep has completed successfully and we can rerun the installation I will click on do not get the latest updates I will click on not uncheck the automatically activate windows and click on next click on no for the product key I will select the enterprise version I click on next accept the license agreement click on next and here we have the upgrade option enabled so we don't have any problem from upgrading the windows server 2003 to 2008 now so first you have to do the ad prep do, do the forest preparation and do the domain preparation using the ad prep tool which is included in the windows server 2008 cd and now i can click on upgrade we'll check the compatibility and will give me some uh, report I click on next and the upgrade has started and this will take a little bit of time because it is an upgradation it have to retain all the fi all the settings and files of the uh, previous version of operating system so it will take longer time than a normal installation so I'll have to pause the video now and I will be back after this completes now the installation has completed the computer has restarted and it's a windows server 2008 enterprise edition now i can log in using my old administrator password in windows server 2003 i can go to the start menu and go to the administrative tools whether to look whether i have all the actuary users and computers and other tools to manage my active directory you can open up the uh, users and computer and you can see that i have all my users and groups and everything there which i had in windows server 2003 and if you want you can upgrade your domain functional level and forest functional level it is not necessary but if you want to 
uh, get your domain functional level updated to Windows Server 2008 you can do it from here this is how we upgrade a Windows Server 2003 domain controller to a Windows Server 2008 domain controller without losing any data without losing any settings or features so I hope this was informative for you thank you for watching